Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Brookfield Board of Select mm -hmm. meeting for Tuesday, June 7th. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Mm. I will entertain a motion to approve the warrants, uh, payroll warrant for 510, withholding warrant for 524, Payroll warrant for 524, withholding warrant for 524, expense warrant for 531. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to approve the uh, select minutes for 4, 5, 16. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Aye. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to acknowledge the emergency squad reports from May 2016. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements. What's the, Mr. Wallen, District Aide to Senator Ann Gobi, will be holding office hours at Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, June 22nd. All are welcome. Local Public Access Committee is seeking members. The committee is also seeking videographers to tape meetings and local events. Those interested should contact Ms. Mahoney at localaccess at brookfieldma.us. Any other announcements? Yes, I have an announcement. Okay. Okay, I'd like to uh, last... Memorial Day weekend, we had a very successful bridge dedication, and I would like to thank anybody, who, all the residents here in the town of Brookfield, from others who attended the event, and anybody that helped make it so successful. And I have here from uh, Donald Berthium, our representative Donald Berthium. He gave us uh, a recognition to the town of Brookfield, Brookfield Mass, for the dedication of the Joseph F. Memorial Bridge. If you would like to get that, Sharon? And uh, I think this would be nice if we could maybe get a frame and hang it up here on the banquet hall. Good. So that's what's presented to the town. Don't we have another one hanging in the hall? Is there, is there one hanging out in the hall? I'll have to do it. I think there's somewhere. Yeah. I've, I've seen, seen one or two mm -hmm. of them. So we might want to have a central location for yeah. all citations. And the, the Murray family was very overwhelmed at the uh, dedication. They couldn't believe the number of people, you know, that came out and how much people thought of Joe. It was a beautiful ceremony. It was, it was a nice, very nice ceremony. Yeah. Any other announcements? Nope. I'm going to give this to Karen. Is that okay? Yeah, she'll give that to Karen. Yeah. Uh, public access. Anybody wish to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. The advisory board wants to know if you're going to do an audit, seeing that we lost the a member from the financial team. It has nothing to do with that. We've already okay. scheduled to have one because we're due for it, yeah. and I need to reiterate that it has nothing to do no. with the retirement of our accountant. You're just going to do the, the, the normal yeah. one so Correct. that will take place? Yes. Correct. I, I, okay. had talked, I had talked to the auditor, and he said that there was no need to have one, so he is scheduling one at the end of the summer. End of the summer? Yeah. Okay. I thought we were going to do something every time if someone left it. No, he said there was no need to no. do one with the town okay. All right. Um, all right, so that answers that. All right, I got some some data from the elementary school about this this business with the callers. Everybody's, mm -hmm. uh, you want me to give you a brief summary of it? Okay, the head janitor over there, which I'm not going to mention names, but everybody said he was, two of the department heads in our town said he was going to get a 9% increase. That's not true. He's going to get a total of 3% increase, he's getting 2% COLA, and he's getting a 1% STEP, and this is his last year for STEP, and he's at the end of it. 75% <clears throat> of the people over there are only going to get COLAs. So it's like us here, we kind of spread out here, some people get dollar raises and this and that, and then other people just get the COLA. So, so their, their <clears throat> COLA David was 2%? Yeah. Now, let's see. No, I thought we got a swim in now. We got the support staff and we got the schools, uh, the teachers over there. Okay. Now is this <clears throat> young, now this is the support staff. He says seventy five percent of them are only getting two percent. That's right. Okay. That's right. Um, okay, the support staff. That means cafeteria yeah. workers, janitors. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's consistent with what yeah. lines. The next three years are gonna get two two two. No, they're not, they're getting two and a quarter. 
Okay, this, 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 you know, this came right. This is what this is what I was told well, from the. Um, well, I was well, I was right the from the school. Right from well, the school, I was the represent over down at you know the head school. I was the representative day for the okay. uh, town mm -hmm. on that, and they reached all three years of getting two and a quarter. Okay, this is what I was told, so I'm going to stick yeah. to this. I'll double check it. So right. it might be a difference between the budget line and the action. Yeah. What the budget does. Again, with people going and coming back and the puts and takes, you don't have to budget two and a quarter to get to. If you budgeted two with people <coughs> leaving and coming back and whatnot, it may may come out as a budget but that's what it, one. But I mean, that's what it was for all three years. Yes, yeah, correct. That's what they yeah. wanted. Yeah. Okay, now the last, the, 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 um, the last three, the last three years they were getting one and a quarter, one and a half, and one and three quarters. That's support staff. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what they were getting. Yeah. Okay. And then, like I said, I was just told what they were getting, so, okay, another quarter, okay, well, that's not what I was told, so we're, we're close. <clears throat> now, the teachers, uh, next year, they're going to be getting two, 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 uh, moving forward. That's what they're going to be getting. Aren't they on their last year? Yeah, they're on their last year. Yeah. That's, the 17 is two. They've been yes, getting two, yeah, two, and two. Yeah. And then they think they're going to be getting, they think they're projecting 222 two, two again, but it hasn't been finalized. Okay, but the last two years they were getting 222. Two, two. Okay, now, a lot of the teachers, are, um, how many are maxed out now? 13 of them are maxed out on the teachers. Uh, and there's a total of 19 teachers. Nine, uh, 13 are maxed out. Six are not maxed out. Four are very close uh, by next year. So that'll leave six. Uh, and when you get to the 10 to 12 years, they're only going to get the cola after the 12th 12, 12 year. Mm -hmm. They only get the cola. There's a little jump um, on the 12th year. I don't know what they said. They negotiated some kind of a little jump that they get when they hit the 12th year. Um, so they get that. Um, another thing is after five years, if you're a teacher with just your master's, you have to go and get your bachelor's. No, no, you mean the bachelor's, <laughs> then they have to get the bachelor's. Well, but, but by law, in order to teach, right. you yeah, have to have a master's. master's. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, after the five year mark, mm -hmm. and they have yeah. to take that out of pocket. Yeah. That's what they That's mm -hmm. what they want, yeah. so they have good, good teaching staff over there. But that's out of the, the school's pocket or out of the person's no, pocket? No, it's a person's pocket. Out of the teacher's. That's mm -hmm. what you do. Because my son-in-law is a teacher at the junior high, and that's what he's doing his name. That's a big bunch of money. Oh, it is, it's out of their own pocket. Right. So that's <clears throat> so basically, you know, we have to keep that in mind when we're talking calls in this in in, in, our, in this section of the town when we get to the teachers because they have to do a lot of that other stuff on their own. So and like I said, the last few years they got two two two. Now last year we gave three percent. The year before that we gave three percent, and the year before that I think it was two percent. <clears throat> now this year we're going for one percent. Well, that's what we're putting in, and the employees want three percent. I heard. Yeah. So that's a, just that's the rough there. <clears throat> what did you hear, Clarence? That that was the counter when we had the conversation mm -hmm. during the employee. I heard, I heard the same thing Round because table. they talked to me about it too after they talked to you. So there's 19 people in the support staff and there's 28 in the professional staff. Okay, and there's 18 that are left on the cola only out of the teachers. So 10 of them are already maxed out. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, David. How many teachers did you say? Um, what did I say? Twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-eight on the professional staff. All right. And eighteen, I got eighteen left on the clock. <clears throat> so that's where we stand. And the two after twelve years, they don't get that. That's 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 it. Well, the, like we've had this discussion three or four times, and it, you've just basically confirmed everything. The majority of people right. down there with both contracts have maxed out. Yeah. That you, we have, we, they scream equality. We've tried to bring equality. I, I thought it was a three 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 that the town employees have gotten. I don't know if it's two. I'd, I'd like you to confirm that. All right, I'm but I, I think that. we've been consistently <clears throat> given a three percent pay yeah. raise. They're, they're two to three percent higher than what the teachers are now. That's correct. And the one percent doesn't even make it average. They're still up one or two. Yeah, because they've gotten that extra one percent two years yeah. ago, and they got it one percent yesterday, last year. So they're actually two percent ahead of the game. So. So they're, they're, they're still <laughs> they're still ahead by. 
Zero. And I, I spoke with Deb Boyd about three weeks ago, so I know those numbers. Okay, that's um, where I got these numbers from. Yeah. Um, so even if they got the one percent that the advisory committee proposed, they're still two to three percent ahead of the equality in the past three years of both of those support and right. professional. Now I got someone gave me a contract when you had your round table discussion <clears throat> and they said they were getting a lot of them were getting nine percent. And I figured out what I, I got the thing and I, they added up the three years with the callers and it adds up to nine percent. Oh, so it's over three years. Yes. Okay. Well, good. It says right on the brow. Someone wrote it. Okay. But see, they didn't say that at the meeting, the round table. Yep. So this you, is why I went over and got this from, from good, good information. The, the, the business agent, Deb Boy, mm -hmm. so we can know where we're standing here. Okay. Yep. We yep. can't be switching the numbers, uh, you know, to make it look good and to make it look bad. We got to stick to the way it is. Well, and, uh, and that's I, it. Yeah. And, and I would only say that the only other thing that came out of the meeting was the co conversation around health insurance and the impact of the employees on health, health insurance. And you, you mean like every single individual in the country? Has gone up. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, and that's again, a nationwide problem with everybody's insurance is going up. So, so the average employee will see that they need to come up with another $70. Yeah. I, think it I know that's what, what I was told to, yeah. No. And, and How much, right? No. no. Was it a week? It was a year. $70 no. a year? That's no, it. No, 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 it's more no, than no. that. 70 was, a week. Yeah, Seventy a pay period. I think it's every. Uh, oh it's on the pay gosh. period. No, I think it was. I think it was a month. I think it was a four hundred seventy-three dollars. Oh, my understanding <clears throat> when I saw it. No, wasn't that? Does that sound like? Does that sound based like? on what um, one of the uh, highway workers were saying? Yeah. I thought it was and seventy. Based on a three percent, and if you got it, I thought it was <clears throat> how they get yeah, paid by weekly. What was it based on? Three or one? What was it? It was one. a month. One. It was it was a seventy dollar impact, and I thought it was on a yearly. So that they and it's it's a month. I thought it was a month too. Was a month okay? Because yeah. Month. Okay. And it came to what four seventy? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, know, I know what a lot of school systems are doing. Um, the Dudley Charlton School District is actually mandating that they switch from a very expensive group to a cheaper group, and that's how they're compensating on their end. So the copay is going to be higher. Is that what you're saying? No, that they, they went from Fallon to Blue Cross. That's what we have is Blue Cross. Yeah. We, we could always go to the state. We, you know, we've proposed that. I, I, are you on the insurance committee? I'm on the insurance. I just represent the retirees. Yeah. So. And you guys talked about that. And you didn't want it because of the benefits or whatnot. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't expect a Cadillac and not pay an extra 70 bucks a month. We, we can bring it down to a Chevy if you want. But Because um, the MMA, they've been really... You know, we've gone out for bid over the years because I was on the insurance years ago, and uh, we we've gone out for bid, and they've always come in the cheapest. But you also, they also, they also, the town's paying sixty percent, so that's that's a that's a good thing for them too. Yeah. Some some towns are going, they're, they're reversing it. They're, they're doing everything they can to slash expenses, right? Because it and also pass. Went up, it also went up in our budget as well. They're losing they're losing quality, and they're. Kind of, you know, lack of better words, sticking well, it to employees. Well, one, one of the reasons that, she, that it always goes up in the budget, too, Dave, is because she never knows how many new people are coming uh, on for the it. fall. Right. So that's why she has to do a projected figure. But this this time we knew because it went up 6%, right? Yeah. Almost 6%. Hmm. Premiums increase, employees come on. It right. is what it yeah, is. That's what so I, I think we've <clears throat> confirmed all the numbers, and we're just going to have a... Interesting discussion Friday night. So, so I'll kind of finalize this and make it nice, and then I can have some copies if people would like to view it. You know, okay. or you can just address just say it. Yeah. I'll just address it at that. Did you, um, and then another thing. Um, when I was up here, I think it was the day after you had your round table. I talked to them. A lot of them wanted to see. I remember I mentioned to you the other day they wanted to see the school budget, like line per line, like yeah. our budget goes out because they don't think it's right. That we just vote on a you know one uh, solid figure. They want to see what is all divided up. It's it's all mm -hmm. public information. They have yeah. public hearings. It's, yeah. it's that's I, what I told them. You want me to have? I can have them shoot one over the camera tomorrow if you want. Yeah, okay. because they said they'd like to see that. All right. that both both request. the assistant superintendent and the superintendent sit in the crowd for any questions yeah. from anybody. Because I attended it this year, D David and I. Attended I got one in the, in the yeah. file cabinet. Yeah. But I, I'll have to shoot you one. One that's finalized, because one I got was at the meeting, they made a few changes after yeah. that. Yeah. So I'll get you one, a fresh one. Okay. 
All right. So that that so I think overall I think I think that we've been we're trying to be fair with with the town employees, and I think if you look at this and you sort it all out, I think it's been pretty. If anything, they may they the, the town employees may be up a little bit. I think as the numbers I've <clears> seen, <throat> they are up. Even if we give them one percent, they're up. And, and and the beauty of this whole thing, it's on the taxpayers or the people that come to the town yeah. meeting. So. And another th another thing I'm going to say at the town meeting is people say, "Well, we got all this extra money," but. We have to remember one thing. We, this money isn't just a one-year payout. Next year, we're going to pay the same increase into the next budget and the next budget. In the last few years, we Yeah, a pay raise isn't a one-time <clears throat> pay raise. It's the biggest expense of any business is its payroll. Well, they're just looking at, well, we got that's nothing for this year. I said, but we got to pay it the next year, the next year, the next year. And all the last couple of years have been three, three, and three, or two. All those years are coming forward, too. They're in the budget. Mm -hmm. And I've, they got to get carried into the next budget. And that does... Mm -hmm. That impacts the budget. You know? I've always said there's two sides to a, a, to a sword. I understand people wanting to make more money. Oh, yeah, no, I'm mm -hmm. not. Yeah. Yeah, right. And remember when I attended the advisory board meeting last week? Mm -hmm. we took, didn't you talk about maybe showing the different impacts, what the tax rate would be? Like, you know, would oh, that was, just too, that, that was two, just too much at the, you know, there's so many variables that would. Because yeah, I remember, real, you, I mean, that, 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 that's a lot of variables. I mean, I remember you talked about it, so I didn't know if you were going to do well, that. We, we talked about it, but I mean, to get into that, with, yeah. I mean, we'd have to have a full-time accountant on board so we could yeah. pick our brain as well. Yeah, okay. You know. <clears throat> Anything else? All right, what did you find out about the uh, truck accident? We got correspondence back from the highway department, mm -hmm. uh, stated that it was all recorded. Recorded so, with the... Police department. Okay. Well, that's because the road was shut down, so they had to show up and make a report. Okay. Said there was no, there was no malfeasance, and that's the email that I saw. No what? Malfeasance on the highway department. They didn't do anything wrong. I guess that's a matter of how you look at it. What my concern is, like, it's, it, why was it all hush hush? Why has nothing come through the? They, why have the repairs not come through on on in, in any billing? I don't even know if you answered she that. You said in the email that it was it was repaired. So I mean, I'm sure yeah. it probably did come through. Maybe you didn't see it because they said it. They said it was in house repair. Yeah, and repaired. from what I saw too, they said it was damaged more to the plow than to the truck. So maybe there wasn't any material. Yeah. It was just labor. Well, like I said before, the fender was crashed in, and the tire was hanging off. So there had to be some front impacts, and then there was a tow truck, a huge tow truck out there for a couple hours, and I didn't see the bill come through for that either. Well, God bless, a, God bless a tow truck company for not billing yeah. the town of Brookfield. Well, did we get billed? If you didn't see or it, we didn't. No. The bill just didn't get through to us. It just, trust me, it was Betty. It, it, it's <laughs> not, getting, it's not getting paid unless there's an itemized yeah. bill. Okay. So, I mean, I'll still say it was a cover-up from where I sit. We're unpacked, plants. I'm packed here. Okay? To me, it was a cover-up. I mean, it wasn't even reported we, to you we, guys. It wasn't we even reported. We, uh, we, and we respectfully disagree, so. Yeah. Okay, so how are we going to go forward? We've had three high accidents in the last few years. How are we going to go forward to minimize this? To minimize it? I, I, to, I, to, I, to, I, so we don't have, I mean, the, accident, the, following the, is, following is, <laughs> You, is a re a I, if you if you I if you that. could figure that out, I'd love to pick yeah. your brain because I own a driving school. I have four vehicles on the road constantly. We've probably had two accidents. One was a total vehicle, and it's just that the word is the, the, the word the word is accident. We're talking about accidents. Pe 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 well, there's accidents. The accidents are accidents. Okay. Two things I'd like to know, if you could convey to them: speed. When the plow and every, every time it comes up, we get it right back to them. They deny it. Yeah. Okay, and the second one, so speed's number one, and number two is a wing plow. You shouldn't be, I talked to four of the towns, departments, and they said you don't use wing plows on small country roads. You use them on wide roads, like 148. And if you use it, there's no reason to use a wing plow. If the truck is not, the road is not wide, and you go down once and you come back the other way, the road's done. And then, when if you, and then at the end, at the end of a snowstorm, you want to come back and widen it. Then you just bring the truck back and rewiden it again. But they all four departments told me you should not be using a wing plow. One of them actually laughed in my face. So, what town are you from? Then when I told him, then he says, "Oh," and he just kind of shut up. And 
smart down there. So, but I just think you should convey that to him that the practice of using a wing plow on a small, narrow road is, is not a good practice. Have you discussed that with her, Clarence? No. Did you want to have that conversation can, with him, see what I, he has to say? I have a, the only other thought that I have, and, and it, it just goes with people's time and availability of time, is when there is, in fact, an incident, there are uh, protocols, root cause, analysis kinds of things that can be done. Uh, generally, I mean, I, I, because of my work in the past, I've had to be responsible for, for accident reporting and the like. And, and probably the best one out there is the FEMA of uh, the uh, National Safety Board stuff, where where you could in fact do a root cause analysis. The interesting thing that comes back is is generally it, it uh, people are very quick to point out that the employee did one thing or another. It generally comes back that it's a, a, equipment. And and again to David's point, whether it's wing plow or some other configuration, I'll call it. Um, yeah, you know, th there might be a best practice out there that we probably should consider, and so I will certainly pass it on. Well, it's not, it's not a mechanical malfunction. The, the, the equipment problem is because we had a weak problem. No, no, no. <laughs> what, what I was saying was, David, when, when you do these root cause analysis of the kinds of things that we're talking about, right. generally it's not an employee issue. I mean, there certainly can be training and those kinds of things that can be the, the answer to minimizing the Again, you never get get rid of everything anyway. No, but no, what, I understand that. What, but what, what happens mm -hmm. generally ends up to be some sort of equipment, whether it's mis, misuse of equipment as far as misapplication and the like. Those are the kinds of the answers that come mm -hmm. out of those things. So, and generally those aren't done, especially on a state level, unless there's a death involved in, a, in exactly, an accident. Exactly. Right, but I think I, seeing I, that we've had three in recent years, I think, you know. They, yeah. The first one that you're referring to was, and that was the first year the chief was on, he said he investigated it. You know, you were on top of that, and you guys differed on opinions there. So what are you going to do? We had a police chief that did a full-fledged investigation of one of them. Well, we, me and him had a talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was, that was, that was, what was said was not what happened, trust me. And I can prove it right to this day with the pictures, believe me. But he'll have the discussion about the wing plow and we'll go from yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, one other, one other thing is the practice, we're talking about money and spending money on trees and making sure we have enough money. Yes. And, and, and hours and more and more people working at the highway. Um, what I observed three weeks ago, when they were up on Rice Corner Road, it might have been a little more than three weeks when they were cutting trees on Rice Corner, and it's not just cutting trees, but this is when I observed it. Uh, it's not the first time. When they, they were paying the guy from 7 o'clock, he's not even on the job at 7, he's sitting down in front of the highway sometimes till 7.30, quarter of 8, and we're paying him 105 an hour. Okay. They take off, they're on the job. At 9.30, they came back. To the highway bond. All the equipment, the highway truck, the bucket truck, he loaded, he came, they packed up and came down for a break. He had a 20 minute break down the highway. Then they all trooped back up to the to the site on Race Corner again. 12 o'clock hits, an hour and a half later, roughly. Do the same thing again. They all pack up, come to the highway bond. Then after lunch, they all truck back up there again. And then around 2.30, they came back to the highway bond. What were we getting? Five hours of tree cutting? Five and a half, ten? At 800 bucks a day, 840 a day. That practice, if you if they go to a site and they're gonna have lunch or break, they should bring some kind of sanitizer so they can stay on that job. But to drag three, four pieces of equipment back to the highway van, one end of town to the other, that's a lot of time being lost. A lot of time. And it's not just this I've picked up on this many times before, but this one really stuck out. And if you add up the hours and what we're paying this tree guy. We're talking lots of money. So when you discuss the wing plug, can you discuss that practice? I'll add. But to bring three, four pieces back just to take a 20-minute break and you're at one end of town and coming back. So does this, does this board agree that that's not a real fair practice to the taxpayers of the town? I don't think it is. If they're going to come back, they should maybe all come back in one vehicle. Well, not just that. If they, they work, they're working five hours and getting paid for Not they. I'm talking the yeah. tree company. The tree, the tree company. company's working five hours and getting paid for eight. That that's an issue. Yeah. When you say who's in charge, Her, Herb's in charge. He, he generates right. the, the warrant. Right. And and what I would ask is back to that practice. I mean. It, it, so is he charging by the the day for five hour day? Is he charging by the hour? Is he logging his hours? 
Well, so originally they were charging. They, they were charging. Yeah. They were charging by the hour. Now, if you listen to the highway superintendent, he said they're charging by the day now. Yeah, that's what I understood. It was by the so day. So that's what alerted me, and I'm saying, okay. And now you're, you're going to pack up. You got to take time to pack up, and turn the trucks on and come back. Then you got to set all up again. And if you got a flat guy, he's getting paid too. So we're losing all this valuable time plus gas, wear and tear, and equipment. One day, not a big deal. But when it's constant, it's not just trees. It's if, if they're doing work at another end of town, they do the same thing. Really, what we need to do is we need a cost per tree. A what? Cost per tree. Well, what's going to happen is Herb's going to say that he doesn't even want to deal with it anymore, and then it's going to become a tree warden issue. Yeah, and then no, no, this isn't just a tree warden issue. This is, this is the, even if they're doing construction, it happens to doing, if they're doing, time they, anytime they leave the highway to go somewhere else, the highway bond, this practice is in place. I've been watching, you know, I've been seeing it, but it, it didn't really hit home until we started talking about the price of trees, yeah. making sure we had enough money. And then I saw them, and I, I watched them for a few days, and I'm like, oh my God. You know, when, you know, so not just the tree, Clarence, can you discuss the general practice of practice. the highway? Well, the practice of, of coming back to the highway bond. Yeah, and, and you know. what, I'll, what I'll ask is that, that that's their common practice, sounds it. And yeah. so we'll it's, just find out why. Yeah. And, and right. Well, we might, want, we might want to change that practice. Yeah. Right. Because if they're at right one end of the town, they can bring thermoses with them and still yeah. have their coffee break. Fair. What I would also ask in the midst of all of this is let's have, a, have a, an idea of a cost per tree or some sort of <clears throat> scale so that we know we're either being efficient or inefficient. Are we, are we less efficient today than we were, or are we more efficient? Yeah, again, I don't know the answer to the question. I, but it's I it's, a, it's the ask. same practice yeah. that they've it's, always done. It, it, I don't think it's matter about the tree clients. It's, it's, it's time. Time is time. Time is money. I mean, you can't oh, put agree. a price on per tree, because some trees, well, you might only get one tree off. It's a monster. Good. You know, but you may, other days you may take six trees down because it's or, or ten trees. Mm -hmm. But still, so you're losing time is what my point is. So it doesn't matter if it's trees, or working, or doing some some construction site, or working in the campground. It's time. All right. So there's a couple questions. Okay. You'll bring it back to the board, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Any other issues? That's it. Beautiful. Thank you for listening. Thank you. You're welcome, Dave. See you Friday. <laughs> yeah. See you. Bring, bring a lunch. Oh, you. Oh, speaking. Thank you. You may not see me Friday. We heard. Yeah, we okay. heard. Thank you. So. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. And your family. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, sorry. Yeah, family you know, comes first. Yeah. Yeah. So, my wife was supposed to go to me today. Okay. Yeah. We're hanging tight because we were told to hang tight. Yeah. Item. Yeah, you have it. Item number one, I'll entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign the mega insurance policy. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number two. Let's see if it was a chair or a board. Yeah. I'll allow the. I'll allow. I'll entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign the O I O D insurance coverage policy. Policy. <laughs> which is for our police and firefighters. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number three is other. Um, it was on the agenda to award the um, senior Brookfield Community Development uh, grant. There's some steps that they have to go through before, yeah. so they've asked to remove that. So if anyone noticed that, that's why. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Klamovich has asked, uh, I think he came, th came through. Um, yeah, I got the yeah, original. Was it to you originally? Mm -hmm. Originally, yes. Okay. Um, in regards to mosquitoes, uh, there was a resident several years ago that tried, attempted through a state program to convince the taxpayers, the town of Brookfield, to pay and fund a state mm -hmm. program. <coughs> I think we even had a presentation, didn't we? Yeah, um, I think, yes, if I remember right. Um, the town shot it down. Um, he is claiming, was it the Zika virus, I think he's claiming? Well, yeah. he, his new thing is the Zika. But even back then, there was a virus that was spreading, and there's always going to be a virus that's transmitted by something like that, ticks, mosquitoes, mm -hmm. and whatnot. But Ooh. the towns voted against it. Um, I don't know if it was Karen or Mr. Snyder that responded to him saying that it was too late to mm -hmm. get on. It's too late for the summer, for sure. 
What I did do to follow up on that is I'm very familiar with the, mosquito, the state mosquito program because Sturbridge is a part of that, mm -hmm. and the Hamilton Rod and Gun Club is. We've been yeah. the, now fourth or fifth year that we've been using their program. They come, they collect tires, they get rid of. Yeah. It was it was all presented to the town. Yeah. And they, so, I think they shot it down pretty yes. well overwhelmingly. Yeah. So what I did is I uh, re-asked the guy because I know the guy, so I re-asked what what the cost would be to the town. It would be something that would want to come to a special if it's going to come, mm -hmm. and so I'll have the information. But it wouldn't be until next season. Oh, yeah. it's next season yeah. anyway. Yeah, it, it would be something you'd want to do in the fall, such that next summer you'd It'd do be it. Funded. I, I I I would say though, back to this mosquito program, you can call them, for example, down at the beach or something like that. You can call them and say you're having a special event or whatever in town, <coughs> and they come. Were you involved in the discussion when we had it about three, four years no, ago? No, I wasn't. No, no. I, had I been, I would have reiterated, these guys are great. Yeah. It's well worth the money. All right. Uh, there's information in regards to that property that uh, General Dollar wanted to donate mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. assessor's office. Uh, correspondence. I received a very nice thank you letter from the superintendent of schools thanking our highway department for plowing of the roads. I also received a report from SDOT for underwater bridge inspection for the Quaybog and Dunbrook. It has been forwarded to the highway department already, so if there's any issues. Because it now is that the Quaybog gets down by me, and they've put up um, signs now, different limits. I would assume that was yeah. based on that report, yeah. and I'm assuming Herb had done that because he did it with Sawmill Pond once yeah. when they yeah. rated a beam was bad. Mm -hmm. He actually Jersey buried it off. And I he believe he fixed it when they did part of mm -hmm. that, that structural. Um, I don't, is this new? This is new. Um, from Mr. Nielsen, another attempt to make Spencer liable for... That's new, yeah. Yeah, right, that. This that. is every year for, and it, it's nauseating because <laughs> both of our representatives live in the town of Spencer, reside in the town of Spencer, and they basically claim that there's nothing wrong with it. Um, our Conservation Commission actually got some correspondence with a couple towns, which seemed promising, but nothing from there, mm -hmm. so... If you can just can you forward his letter, I don't know if he's done it already, but for unless the board um, has an issue, forward it to our representatives oh, and yeah. ask Definitely. for a follow-up. Yeah. Far from over. But so it's never going to be over because they're never going to resolve it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's literally a disgrace. It is. The well, mandates. and again, we're going to be in the center of activities at the pond, and so it's just we just can't have it. We can't have a, a, a dirty water story. And so that it'll, eventually it'll have to bubble up to the surface and, and something. Literally and figuratively. Yep. Disgusting. Yep. yep. Any other issues before the board? Um, I saw your email. Which one? <laughs> the one that came through from Chris Settles about, um, um, about the accounting yes. problem. Yes, yes. Okay, well, Pioneer Valley uses the same um, company that I had told you about. Right. So, do we? And that was my my it's question. The same, it's the same girl because she told me. So, is it is it worthwhile to jump on to the study that she's trying to do to understand the resources and whatnot? Should we respond to it or not? Well, so, I mean, I, I see it as a survey. And well, the thing is, I mean, like the girl that I had talked to from the Municipal Financial mm -hmm. Management Services, she does all of the accounting work for the Pioneer Valley. And so for those towns that have for lost, those towns and that she, lost their and she, no, she even does it for the Pioneer Valley themselves, okay. their, their office down there and where. So this is probably who she's talking about. I'm sure that's who Trish oh, Settles no, might be talking well, about. No, no, no. She's well, actually, you, got, you two are talking about two different things. One's, a, one's a survey. Oh, one's and one's a survey. This is oh, a survey. Okay. All right. So I thought this was the email okay. that, that she's looking for data. Oh, of what, okay. And what I'm what I'm thinking is, you have that information. If we had them do yeah. this survey, or we we gave our information yeah. and we gathered the survey from the other towns that are struggling as well, we might have another data point. I mean, that's yeah. all it's going to be. It, you can't get too much information if it helps in this area. Because right. I know that the one we've got, I know she's only going to stay with us, you know, until we find somebody. And, and I she's, think she's, she wants I'm, to stay. I'm, I'm biting my tongue for this. You know me, I like descriptive adjectives, mm, yeah. and I'm being nice. She's doing one heck of a She is doing a awesome. very good job. Yeah. Yeah. So I could, I don't know if how you, how the two of you feel, but. I'm not ready, I'm not ready to pull that trigger yet. No, I'm just saying until we. 
we have to. If we, have until to. we have to. She said she will come out and she would sit down with the financial team. Which we, she'll do, talk we, don't, to we don't need that at this point. Yeah. No, but, no, I know we don't need it, but I'm just saying in case, you know, things don't go all that good at the end of June 13th, we've got to do something. Because, I mean, I don't know how long, you know, the interim will stay on because, you know, she retired, her husband's retired, and, you know. Well, it's, I mean, we need to know. Have a feeling that way yeah. too. I'm, I'm just thinking we ought to get this information. Yeah, the sur survey's a no-brainer. Yep. Um, bringing them oh, in, no, I th I bringing them in, I think is premature right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. But I thought I had read something though in the email about the Pioneer Valley too. No. Well, it I think have, that must have been another one. Then. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the CBGD. So we're working with Pioneer Valley on CBGD. Oh, no, I thought it. I thought it had something, mm. something to do with this, too. Mm. Not, no? My memory's short and old, so I'm not sure. But I thought it <laughs> yeah. did. But no. The, the only thing I'm thinking Pioneer Valley is CBGD. No, that, oh, wow. uh, yeah. So uh, I'll, okay. I'll fill in the survey. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other issues? Um, we received an email, and I just, if you didn't see it, I just did a quick study. Department of Ar and Uncollected Taxes and whatnot. I just made a copy for each of you. Oh, thank you. Of just looking at comparing us to others. And I just did last year's outstanding versus this year's outstanding to kind of just get a comparison. I, I would say we're in the middle of the pack as far as that activity. And we still haven't gone to that auction because they postponed it. Correct? That's correct. Yeah. And if, if, if anything, that that's a, a good idea. It, it'll help with it'll these help. numbers. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I just comparing ourselves where the neighbors were in the middle of the pack, and that's where we want to be. Unfortunately, a lot of rumor mills are in any small town, and people are misinformed. Yeah. We're, we're, we're doing a good job. That's yeah, the data. They the data. Yeah. They're doing a good job here. Yeah. Any other? I think we got to take care of I, I would only just follow up on the employee meeting. I thought it was good. I thought there were a number of joint activities, the idea of a folding machine. Um, yeah, they thing. had talked to me about that, too. Right. So, it, it, again, if we, and, and I think I, I, in the email I sent to you, uh, to Karen, I just listed the action items mm -hmm. for the next meeting to say, you know, have we made progress on those kinds of things that we had done it by? Okay. Is that date set? Uh, that's your date. It's it's the last it's the last two. <laughs> yeah, I know, but is it is it set? What? No. Yeah. No. no. So it'd be a month. Do we want to set it now? So employees know. Set it if you want. Sure. So when would it be? Last oh. Tuesday of the month. Last yeah. Tuesday of this month? Oh yeah. no, well, Ju uh, it'd be July. Actually, when did we meet? No, no, no. It would be the last it Tuesday. Was the, it was it a was Thursday. May. I I can't do we're it. We're June now. I can't do anything the last week. I have a class I have to teach. The last week of June. Well, do you want me to do it then if you can? Totally up to you. Or I, I can do it. I, if you, I'll do if it. You. I don't Great. mind. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just take. Yeah. You guys don't mind? I'll do no. It. No. 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 I feel bad. Okay, so what? So, what set if, set so if you're saying the last June, I, last Tuesday, it's June 28th. All right, and you've got my email of the action items. You want to do it at, at 10 o'clock in the morning? That yes, good? that is much 10? preferred. I don't want to go to another funeral. This is a time of funerals. No, no, no. <laughs> How about the. Don't we, do they want to do it at 10 or they want to do it at 9.30? Last time I think 9.30 we decided, right? So we'll do yeah, 9.30. And, and we really need to have a discussion that this should be a department head meeting, not every single employee in the town of Brookfield. Mm, no, it was the it was the understanding when we first started. It, it was um, an employee meeting, not just the department When head. we first started, it was just the employees in this building. And then it snowballed to everybody. You know, we, we, talk, we talk about time. We have two meetings where the entire the entire highway department is down here for multiple hours. No, at, when I uh, when I had no, with, it, with it was an hour. With it, was a, yeah. it was an hour. With me, I mean, it was with only me, one. it was probably an hour and a half, hour and three quarters. Right, oh, and David? if you guys haven't heard, the new um, seasonal worker started too. Yeah, so we're doing fine. We're yeah, good shape. That's now. good. No, what I it was my understanding when I first discussed it, it would be an employee meeting. All the employees would come up and. You know, everybody would air their things and what they wanted to talk about because that's how it was. Well, did I, you understand it that way too? I, I did understand well, it that's that how way. I understood and it and too. the only the only thing that I would say, and, and again, David was part of it. David, I thought it was a very constructive discussion. Yeah, it brings and out a lot. Bring, need, brought out. Yeah. I mean, there's probably seven action items yeah. that I didn't I didn't take away yeah. any. I mean, you took one away because of your study. Yeah. But 
Otherwise, it was their action yeah. items. One that I saw on there was um, Cindy was going to review the policy, financial policy. She has some feedback. Well, she was part of the discussion on it. Oh, we, we met yeah. with her two mm -hmm. or three times. Not did, a problem. Did she have any major yeah. issues with it? I, I don't think it's major. I think it's just some thoughts that she has. And, again, she's got the thing marked up, and I think to, to well, share it's was, a good yeah, thing. She, well, 100 percent. And that's where I'm concerned yeah. because she had a major influence in yeah. editing the one that I, we did. I think it's just constructive criticism. I, I'd take it in no, no just, other way. Okay. If there was anything major. No. Because she's, again, that she's, wasn't, she's that, kind of a hawk. She she went over every page. We met several times. And that's where I see this thing is she did and, and did it again. We're, yeah. we're smarter than she, we were she the had, day she before. Had, she had some tie about her hands. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I, again, I took it away as constructive. No, I just yeah. didn't know if there was anything majorly aggress, egregious. Okay. I, I'm not taking it that way. I haven't okay. seen the comments, the actual comments. I just saw the markup, the little yeah. tabs that she had for the markups. Linda, did you have something? No, nope, that's it. No, no, this is just, I was just taking some notes. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I will Lovely. make that. I'll second that. I'll make <laughs> no, it. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to second, <laughs> second it. Yeah, I'm going to ask if there's any discussion. <gasps> no, nope, no. Nope. Nope. We're so going home. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you.